Hello there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Uh, another day, another job. That's what we do, don't we? We do some more making, some more building. If you're new to the channel, please uh, click the like button and uh, subscribe. It's really, really appreciated. And it's appreciated that you actually click the like button if you watch uh, the video. Thank you. So what are we doing today? <laughs> well, I'm making a set of gates. This is a, a, a building some gates. Um, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you around. So these are the gates that I've taken down that you wanna replace. And we're going in this space here. So we're gonna make a nice new set of gates. Uh, and we've got some materials. And we've got, got go and get a bit more. I've just sent Thomas off to get some more materials. Uh, but we are good to go. So we're gonna make a nice, half lapped gate uh, and uh, exterior tongue groove that's what we're going to be doing so what i'm doing is just cutting the uprights for the fence it's at five for two so it's going to be nice and solid so i'm just cutting them it's going to be two meters tall so that's how what we're doing just the first section So what I'm going to do, just doing the marking out, you can see there to there, uh, I'm going to mark that out. I'm just going to half lap all the uh, uh, the joints. So we've got the marking out there. And we're going to cut that. We're setting it in 50 mil up from the top and the bottom. 50 mil, and then we'll half lap. So we've just put the post, we've got post and a post, set the height, it's nice and upright, and we've just cut it round. We took the old post off, which was sort of sticking out. Um, I've just cut it round, uh, which is much more secure. You can see, it's just cut round here, and to get it upright with the wall, and we've just chopped it in there again. So it's just chopping it in. Nice and solid. We can build a gate. We've got some nice strong posts. A gate is only as good as the post it's actually fixed to. So you need really good, good fixings, good strong posts. So that's what we've done. been pouring with rain so I didn't actually film the actual fishing we decided we're a little bit wet Thomas looks actually more of a drown rat than I do but <laughs> um, anyway we just kept going what what yeah it's, we're just getting wet aren't we but we were warm enough so we didn't actually see you didn't actually see us basically hang the gates we put the braces in and we've got we put this down at the minute on the floor just while we're supporting it the glue's drying because it's about that far off the ground and we've just done that you can see this one here you can actually see that swinging quite freely um we'll go all the way back that comes in um if you come in this way 
you'll see what we've done. Well, I need to get some bolts as well. I haven't got any yet, but I'm going to get some M10 bolts. So we're doing that while it's still the glues, the, the gates are drying. We're keeping it supported. We're going to start putting the uh, the cladding on the tongue, the tongue and groove cladding at the minute. You can see we've got some really nice heavy duty uh, uh, hinges. We're going to get some M10 bolts that are going to go in on the corners there, on the very edges there. Uh, I'll get them tomorrow probably. Um, nice little gap down the back so the gate can swing freely and as you can see there it's just a nice little gap in the middle which we will have a return on the front uh, and we make it same again this side so we've got about 10 mil gap um, perfect for it going along so there we go joint garden gates they're two meters tall that span uh, is eight foot so each gate is about four foot wide two meters by four foot and you notice there where i'm swapping imperial and, and metric <laughs> we do don't we <laughs> particularly if you're my age you, you you work in both anyway that's an aside about imperial and metric that's another discussion um here we go um the furniture is on we tongue and groove, 100 mil tongue and groove. And if you come this way, you can see, we can see actually, first of all, you can see we put the bolts in, which I said I was going to drill in. Uh, so we've got the, the bolts top and bottom, which is part of the hinges, so it just secures the hinges from the other side with, with the screws. Uh, come this way, we've just got the latch, we go in. nice little hasp, we've got the latch, we've got the bolts, we've got all the door furniture, looking nice, so nice and secure, we'll wrap a bit in the wind I'm sure, but uh, so they can padlock it, we have as you see we have braced, we've we half lapped it, so this is a half lap gate, so it's super nice, made out of five for two as well, so really really nice, so this is from the back, uh, you can see, obviously, I put the bolts in there at the, the side of the hinges. So thanks for watching. That's a, a garden gate build. Um, if you're new to the channel, please click the like button and subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. Um, this is, is it a how-to build gates? There's loads of videos on how to build gates. And to be honest, most of the videos I've seen on YouTube, they're brilliant as well. So uh, it's just one of many. But it's my channel. It's what I've done. And I hope you appreciate it. So from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures, take care, everybody. Bye.